morning and welcome to yet another amazing class with us Baijus. I'm Aishwarya and I'm back with another very interesting and a very important class for all of my wonderful 6th to 8th graders where today we will understand what are the basics that we need to keep in mind as students when we draw, draw diagrams in biology. So I can see that a lot of you are here already. I can see Harsimran is here, Amrita is here. Hello, hi Payal, hi Arpita. Yes, I can see Nagendra is here. Her, um, I can see Anita, Navya. So many of you are here. Hello, hi Simran. Hi, Ankita. Yes, all of you are here. Damini is here. Santwana. I can see Pori, Anubha, Advaita, Hakim. Hello, everybody. How are all of you doing today? Are you excited for today's class? Yes. Very quickly, if you are, give me a thumbs up on the chat and do not forget to hit that like button and that red button that is there next to it, which is the subscribe button. Because today it is very important that all of you have your notebooks and pens and pencils ready so that you understand what are the basics to keep in mind when you are drawing diagrams in biology. Yes, all of you are ready. All of you are excited. Is it? I'm not feeling as energetic. That's, that's not okay. I have to have that energy because I'm with all of you. My energy is there, right? Like, Are we ready for today's class? Yes. Very, very excited and thank you so much for all the belated happy Teacher's Day wishes. Yes, of course, I did not have a class with all of you, but I saw your wishes. I saw the messages and I'm telling you, I was truly touched, right? Like, I always feel like, you know, you are like my kids. So when I was seeing all those responses, I felt very nice and very overwhelmed as well when I read all of that. Yes, everyone. And of course, today, do not forget to tell your friends also to join this class. Today's class is going to be very important and very helpful for all of you. Yes, Ritika is here, Pile is here, everyone is here. Well done, well done. So let's see, we have a total of 33 students right now in the live, but eventually I want this to hit 50, okay? So please tell you, right? Please, I'm requesting all of you to tell your friends as well to join. Yes, I know, here and there I keep jumbling with the words. So very sorry about that. All right, Papia is also here. Papia just told hi, sir. I think Papia meant hi, ma'am, right? <laughs> okay, everyone, we're five minutes into class. We're going to get started, yes? Now, of course, before we started, you, of course, remember, right, that in the beginning of the class, you saw this wonderful video on the Akash National Talent Hunt exam. Now, of course, in between, because we had Baiju scholarship test happening, we, of course, didn't call it out loud, because we, but we always told you, right, it's important that you register for Anthe. Yes, so I hope that all of you have registered for Anthe, and in case if you haven't, now is the time to register. We have some amount of time because the exams are happening in November. You have September and October to prepare. A lot of things up for grabs. So please make sure that you are all registering for Anthe. Yes? And of course, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Be a part of our universe. Be a part of our family, right? So please make sure that you tell your friends also that this is a family where we all care about each other and this is a family that is going to hold your hand till the very end of your exams or your grades and will always be there for you. Yes? So do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Yes. So now, of course, with this, we are going to get started on how to make biology diagrams. Now, I can see that some of you are new. Some of you are asking me if you are late. No, you're not late. You're we're just getting started with the class, right? And if you know me, right, for those students who've been there with me for quite some time, you all know, right, I love drawing, yes? I love being a part of doing art of any form, right, whether it's painting, drawing. So I, of course, love being, a, you know, doing a lot of artwork, yes? And some of you have also seen how we have had some handwritten mind maps, right? How many of you have already seen that, all the handwritten mind maps that are there, Yes, the world is amazing. The world is treating me amazing because I have you all as my wonderful students, Ritika. Hello, Babya. Hello. 
Yes, so many of you have already seen it. Yes, and for those of you who have not seen it, do check out the mind map sessions on nutrition and plants, on crop production, where we have done a lot of handwritten mind maps. Right now, in all of those cases, a lot of you have always told me, "Ma'am, drawing biology diagrams is very tough." Right now, I understand where that comes from. Right, I understand where all of that comes from because. even though i do all of that right now not always was i very creative right or i would say that i was not very good at it so first and foremost i would tell all of you is that you need to understand that if you if you are being a biology student you have to work on your diagrams now later on if you don't want to pick up biology also it is okay but you still need to work on your diagrams right so here are some basic tips to keep in mind before you draw diagrams right so here are basic tips to remember while drawing diagrams in biology and as you can see because this was a very special class the whole ppt and whatever you see on the screen is handwritten by me right so and this class is going to be a very small class i'll take it for about 20 minutes it's a very simple and easy class and i know all of you will keep this in mind right yes so now of course here as you can see first thing is to have your basic stationery with you at all times which means that whenever you have your science paper or as a matter of fact all papers okay but when you are sitting down to draw your diagrams doing your assignments have your basic stationery with you which means have your pencils your sharpeners your eraser ruler this much is enough right all you need to do is to have these basic things the rest of it is are all add ons right so whoever is telling me ma'am drawing is very hard ma'am i can't draw ma'am my drawing looks very ugly today is the day where i'll be telling you how you can make a effective biology diagram now when you make mind maps or when you you know make your notes what is the one thing that i always tell you if you remember you will tell me right i tell one thing at all times when you are making your own notes when you are making your own you know diagrams or mind maps whatever it is i have a like a party line i always tell this at all times yes can you all tell me what that is yes we need to visualize okay but i also tell you something it's about yourselves right yes okay can you all remember what is it okay be creative do you all remember this anybody who remembers this be confident <laughs> Yes you have to be confident right i always tell you be confident be proud of yourselves okay yeah these are all things that i tell you yes so now of course but there's also another thing i tell you it's all going to be different right the way i make diagrams to the way you make diagrams are going to be different right so you need to understand that how many of you remember this i always tell you that in class and i tell you at all times be yourself accept the fact that however you draw or however you write that is for you right so it's important that you understand this point very clearly and keeping this in mind is what i want you to look at the next 6 to 7 points that i have for you yes because trust me our diagrams will always right it will always be slightly different from one another it will not look like what is there exactly in the textbook even it will be very difficult for me to replicate that as well right so here we are not looking for artists when we look at science right we might be artists sometimes we might not be but what do we need to keep in mind as science students that is what you need to remember yes so keeping this in mind we are going to look at the next set of topics okay so can we make me little more smaller on screen so that they can see everything Yes and I also tell you do not compare yourself with others at any time right now the next thing is after you have your stationery of course one thing that i missed out was to have your notebooks but that was a given right now apart from this what i would also tell you is to use at least 3/4 of the space that you have on your page so do not use only half the page while drawing your diagrams use at least 3/4 so that your diagrams are clear Now sometimes what will happen is on our page we'll have so much notes okay then we'll be like okay in the small place i'll draw my diagram and keep it that's when everything will get crumpled up but rather what i would recommend is in such cases go to the next page and draw a nice diagram yes 
Why three fourth? Because three fourth is ideal. Half sometimes is not enough for some diagram like digestive system. Half a page will also be not enough, right? But for some diagrams, I would say like the structure of the leaf or maybe structure of a bacterial cell or an animal cell, half a page will be fine, okay? So I'm going to rephrase this to maybe half to three fourth of the page, yes? All right. Now, Amrita, I'm not ignoring your messages. Please don't tell that, right? I always tell you, right? I've never ignored your messages. Yes. So, of course, I would have missed it out, but you can just send it to me once again. Okay. Full is enough. See, that's your call. But my point is, do not cram it up when you don't have place, right? So that your diagrams are clear. Now, the third thing that we need to keep in mind is to have a clear cut diagram. Okay, now what do we mean by clear cut diagram? It means that we should not have our parts which are overlapping, right? It should not be that we have lines and it's going like this. It will be not proper, right? Similarly, the diagram should not be incomplete. Now what is incomplete? You can see an example on the screen. I have a structure of the leaf drawn here, right? But you can see that this part is not joined, right? This part is not joined. Here, everything is not joined properly. So this diagram is incomplete. And at times, you imagine you're drawing the digestive system. You draw a stomach like this, right? And you close this off or you make a mistake in this manner. Yes? So if you close the openings, the concept in itself will be incorrect. So you need to understand that your diagram should be complete at all times. Are we following? Yes, Amrita, that is extremely sweet. I cannot believe I missed this message. That is such a sweet and kind thing to tell me, right? So thank you so much for being so kind to me, all of you as a matter of fact. So yes, are we following this? That our diagrams need to be complete. Parts should be complete. Where the openings must be there, it should be open. Where we need to close it, you will have to close these parts, all right? So full should be there. Yes, whoever have questions, let me know very quickly. Now, before I go ahead, before I answer your questions, I want to just wind up the whole tips that are there, right? So I'm going to wind up all the tips very quickly and then you can ask me your doubts, okay? Now, the next part that is there is a very important part. And as biology students, I want all of you to be doing this. When you are drawing, right, in three-fourths of your place, Make sure that you are always drawing towards the left side of the page. Yes. So draw towards the left side of the page and the labeling must all come on the right side. Never label where one label is coming like this. Another label is going here. Another label is like this. Sometimes when you're labeling, you are crossing in this manner. So all of this is incorrect and not good practices. So make sure that when you are labeling, you are labeling it properly. Write this down. Straight line labels, right? Straight lines, yes? No ulta pulta, okay? No crossing over. Why do we do this? We do this because it is a neat label. Whenever you see questions on diagrams, what do they say? Draw a neat label diagram. So when you are labeling it, this makes it easy. So as a teacher, if I'm correcting your papers and you are doing this, it is easy to label, right? Yes, why left? Because normally when we read, we read in this manner, left to right, right? So which is why we always, it's, it's a said rule, I would say. And of course, these labels, another thing that we, I would say, why left to right and not right to left? How do you write if I'm writing my name? I write it like this. No, Aishwarya. So when I draw my label after my arrow, I will write my name. Now imagine if it is the other way around. I draw my label like this. Now I don't know how much space I will need. So if I start from here, if you see, now my labeling is getting crumpled because I don't know how much to do. Then you go back and you have to adjust this, which is why it's a lot of task. This way it is a continuous thing as you write. That is why left to right. And we always draw it on the left side. See, this is not a compulsory thing. It's a recommended thing so that it looks neat on your books, right? Can we draw it towards the left margin? From the left margin onwards. So if this is your margin, you can draw it like this. Yes? Okay. Now next up, it's important. See, this is something we tend to do and we think it's okay. But preferably for your examination point of view, right? Do not draw, color the diagram or shade it. 
because sometimes when we tend we start shading like this or when we start you know giving all these effects sometimes it will not look very nice or sometimes it it will first of all it's a waste of time during your exams right you don't need to shade it secondly sometimes it can misinterpret what you are trying to say right so it's important that preferably this is again something i would say it is preferable that you do not color your diagram or shade your diagram right yes see tanushka is saying my school does not allow me to color the diagram so now in 6 7 and 8 that is there right it's important that you understand that you do not need to color it anymore and yes at times it will look untidy as well yes see there are multiple ways you can make it attractive and all of that this i'm talking on a very examination point of view i would say right because class work in i would say that you know in the class work it's still okay but in exam point of view it is a lot of extra things i would say yes now for those of you who are saying coloring your school allows you to shade i am again talking on an examination point of view right do they allow you to do it in an examination point of view no and secondly if you make some mistakes in coloring it will also make it very untidy you can utilize that time in drawing a neat diagram yes important pointer to keep in mind now next one is a very important one right in ex when you are looking at drawing in general and let me tell you for all students who are here i am going through these points fast because i'm going to recall this again by drawing live so i'm going to draw diagrams and show you how to draw a few of them so that you get a perspective of how to apply these tips when you are actually drawing because it's one thing for me to just talk about it but the second thing for me to is actually show it to you right and i'm always telling you that i will show it to you yes all right so i can see that some other conversations are happening on the chat i request everybody to focus on what i am telling right now okay you are all wonderful students i would just expect all of you right to keep focus vishnu can we also pay attention to the chat as well okay all right now next thing that i am telling you here is that our proportions of the diagram must be proper now what do we mean by proportions have to be proper let me give you an example okay so let's assume that this is the esophagus that you see on your screen oops i went out we have esophagus on your screen and you have the stomach now normally we know that this is a long tube that is there which connects your mouth and your stomach now imagine if we drew a short esophagus and then we drew something like this and then this is the mouth right so imagine if i'm drawing the mouth i'm drawing it something like this is this representing how the digestive system exactly looks like is it representing it proportion is how much like how much of it right like for example how big they are in terms of dimensions no it is not clear stomach is in our chest exactly it does not represent it rather it is giving you a misconception so what you are trying to tell versus what is really coming out is two different things so when you are drawing it is important that you draw it appropriately right are we clear everybody this is a very very important point to keep in mind yes yes all right very good if you are making diagrams by paper then some days we make more where to stick it i'll get to that arpita in just a bit okay thank you thank you so much everybody thank you so much techy gamer has not understood i'll give you another example okay i'll give you a different example you all know flower diagram no we all have structure of the flower now normally when we draw structure of the flower we tend to draw like a you know the stalk that is there we draw the sepals like this right then of course we draw the petals here again i'm drawing a very rough diagram so it looks a little dirty then of course here we in the center we will draw all the reproductive parts that are there normally we will draw something like this yes now imagine oops okay i can't undo that so i'll just do it once again now imagine same thing i drew very big petals like this okay and then after that i have drawn even more bigger ones they are very big all of them are exploding out from all directions this is not how the pet flower looks like right does it look like a proper diagram of the flower does it look like that no right does it look that way you guys tell me what do you feel no 
yes it does not look like that at all right so untidy everything is everywhere it doesn't even look like a flower right so when i say proportions that are there it is mainly with respect to how you draw it the dimensions that are there yes so that is important to understand and last but not the least that is there when you are drawing and this is something as a teacher i will always check okay that is to have the diagram labeled if you are drawing the flower you are drawing digestive system you are drawing plant cell you are drawing animal cell you are drawing bacteria you draw whatever it is you should label and give a title yes so use a title for the diagram and use a ruler to label it yes these are things that as students you all should practice okay all right so these are some basic tips that you need to keep in mind while you are drawing diagrams for biology now i want all of you to give me your question so i'm going to take a quick doubt board before i go ahead and show you how to implement these tips while you draw so i'll take another 5 more minutes and we will wind up the session and yes i know a lot of biology questions are coming right i can see that jaspreet is asking me to define cell so cell is nothing but the basic unit of life jaspreet but i'll take a detailed class on that later on it's coming up don't worry simran you can go back and you can you know watch the video again it's a very crisp video where do we stick the diagram so i would always tell you that draw the diagram in your notebook itself but if you are drawing it on sheets of paper i would always tell you to staple it right or you can stick it in your notebook i would always tell you title should be at the top or bottom it could be in both places but i always recommend it at the bottom right that's what i recommend okay diagram should be more attractive or just like what just how it explains that what we have made okay again like i tell you some people can make it very attractive and all of that but it should mainly represent the content that is there so digestive system cell that you draw it may not be very attractive but if it's explaining all the concepts if the structure is proper if everything is proper then that is all that matters right thank you vibhuti i've been seeing your messages you've been telling me that i am your favorite thank you so much about it dilip i meant missed your question can you send it to me once again thank you sir uh, savreen i'm going to be taking a class on all of that so i will focus on that right how to draw striated and unstriated muscles give me 5 minutes right can you tell me where we can practice in home notebook or in a page i will tell you anything preferably a home notebook because you will have a record of all of it if you draw it in loose paper everything will fall i mean you may lose it right so that's why yes okay you can tell me a joke towards the end of the class okay staphylococcus is a type of bacteria all right everybody what is xylem and phloem they are transporting tissues right they help in conduction of water and water and minerals xylem does that phloem helps in transport of your food items okay all right we've already had quiz today on nutrition in plants but we'll be having it soon okay all right everybody how to get notes on telegram group everybody there's a telegram link right J please go ahead and click on it you can join the telegram group link is there in the description can we use these tips for physics you can use the basic tips for physics i would say actually physics diagrams are easier i would say all right everybody now what i'm going to do is i've taken most of your doubts i'm going to take 5 more minutes and i'm going to show you how you can draw it okay so we're going to quickly switch screens right now we have vishnu sir and ranjit sir who are going to help us so very quickly everybody please thank them on the chat because in a very short notice they have made something really tough available for all of us so that all of you learn right just for you to have proper visualization they have done this so go ahead and thank them in the chat vishnu can we quickly switch okay yeah yeah you can have this can you all see my screen everybody yes all right okay yes so now what you see is i have of course papia was asking me ma'am can i use 
loose paper or should I use a rough book? Right now, because I don't have my rough book with me, I'm going to use A4 size sheets, okay? And I always recommend that if you're using a rough notebook, no? Buy a book which has blank pages on it. Don't have ruled paper, have your blank pages. Now, of course, as you can see, we have a camera on top that is capturing this, right? So it's important that you see it that way. And give me some time because when I draw, I might cover on something. So it's important that you use this. Can we use these tips? Of course, you can use these tips. These are all some very general tips that I have given you, right? So it's important. Of course, I remember all of you. Now, tip number one was to make sure that I have my stationery ready. So I have all my stationery and I have basic stationery, right? And I have some post-its also in case if I want to add notes. Now, next thing that we're going to do, of course, a lot of you ask me, I'm going to do two diagrams. I'm going to do digestive system on popular demand and I will do the structure of nucleus. Even though I have not taught nucleus yet, I'll quickly show you how to draw the structure, okay? Now, next up when you're drawing, like I told you, it is important that you use three-fourth of the page and draw it on the left side, which means in case if you are very new to drawing, you can tell yourself that you can draw a thin line, right? Draw a light line on this so that you are able to know that this is all working space that you have, right? Yes. Today I do not have my Doraemon pouch. It is at home. <laughs> I wish I got it today. It had all my color pens and my different kinds of pencils. Everything is at home now. <laughs> so now we're going to start with the digestive system. Somebody's saying lungs. I'll draw digestive system and lungs very quickly. I don't want to extend this class for more than 30 minutes. That's why I'm drawing only two. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to draw the digestive system. Now, as you know, for the digestive system, the first part that is there is the mouth, right? Or the buccal cavity. So in this case, as you can see, I told you do not sketch or do not make it incomplete. So draw proper lines. So now, as you can see here, I have made one continuous part to show buccal cavity. Now next, very common thing, esophagus, I will recommend you draw with your scale so that it is long and proper. So now if you see it is proper, right? You have long esophagus. Now then you draw your stomach, make complete diagrams that are there. Yes, you draw the stomach here. Now, I do it a little differently, okay? Now, I normally, what I do is, I tend to draw the large intestine first, then the small intestine, okay? So, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw the large intestine. So, I make my top part. And see, it's not like you will not make mistakes, okay? You will make mistakes when you draw. Which is why you need to not press and draw, draw it lightly, right? Draw it very lightly and, you know, whenever you want to erase it, you can just erase it out. Yes, so now we have all of it covered. And then you make the remaining part. So once you have your large intestine, then you can fill up your small intestine because you know that that's how it is packed in your elementary canal, right? Or that's how your digestive system would look like. Now, of course, the elementary canal or I mean the small intestine is very jam-packed and it is crumbled. So, you have to make a continuous tube. You shouldn't draw one single one. You shouldn't be like, like this. This is not how you should draw, okay? You need to make sure that both the, it should be like a tube that you are drawing, right? Properly. And once you have drawn all of this, of course, I'm going to make a very small tube. I mean, this is already a very complicated large intestine, right? But once all of this is done, you only need to fill up your drawings, right? So you only need to, I mean, you need to only fill up with your digestive glands. So you know that you have your liver, so you'll draw your liver like this. Then of course you have your gallbladder that is there, so you can color it, darken it a little. Then behind your stomach, we have our pancreas, right? So we can draw the pancreas here or in this case, we can make it a little more lower also. See, I'm not happy with my pancreas, so I'm just erasing it off, right? And we can draw one like this, right? Little more closer, I would say. Now, here if you see something that I would have done differently is that I would have my small intest large intestine up a little more, right? So you have all of your parts. Now, next thing that you need to do is to label it. So you will label it here. That is your human 
digestive system and underline it with a pen i mean with the scale yes all right okay all right okay i think uh, most of you are able to follow this now last but not the least like i told you have all your labels marked so you have all your arrows and they should be all one below the other not in some random random places right so you have all of this set up mark all of this here like in this manner i'm not going to label all the parts but you get the idea all right and then after you write the arrows you can write this down so this is your buccal cavity yes this is your esophagus all right and then of course these are your this is your stomach this is your liver this is your gall bladder and pancreas so on and so forth now of course i'm writing a little fast but i hope now you understand how to draw see we have implemented all the things that i told you about complete your diagrams no incomplete label on the left side right have a label at the bottom yes are we clear everybody are we clear we want to write name in pen or pencil i would recommend that if you write in pen it's fine pe but pe preferably pencil how many times will we draw so i would tell you that if you are not able to remember the diagrams see it once or twice and draw then try to draw it out of your memory so i would suggest that it differs from person to person right so in case after two three times of seeing it and drawing it you get it you will be fine now digestive system is something i have kept drawing that it's like now muscle memory for me to draw but initially when i had to remember it was very tough like i couldn't know what would come i didn't know which was easy for me to draw for example now i am telling you right if you draw large intestine first and then small intestine it will look neater but for me to figure this out it took me so much time and so much practice so take your time when you are learning how to draw okay all right arpita seeing this for the fourth time i know right i keep drawing digestive system because like i told you it is muscle memory yes all right everybody now somebody was asking me for the respiratory system right so i'm going to quickly draw now respiratory system of course is not like muscle memory for me okay now for respiratory system again there's a very simple way of drawing it now you have nose and i'm very skeptical because i've still not taught respiratory system that's why i'm like should i draw but i will draw because you asked me so then you have your nasal cavity then you have it drawn down like this right and again when you are drawing it okay just give me one minute so first thing you will draw will be your nose right then you can draw your nasal cavity here let me just erase this and do it once again okay i can see that shafika is new to the class hello shafika welcome we're doing a class on biology diagrams right so here as you can see we'll draw the nose first then it'll open into the nasal cavity right and then of course this part will become closer right so for what is not my muscle memory i'll take some time okay because respiratory system as much as i draw digestive system i don't draw it that often then of course we have a short part which is our larynx that is there i mean our um trachea sorry i'm saying larynx trachea and then it will branch in this manner and then you draw your lungs yes and inside you can of one lung you can show the branching that is there or you can do it for both however but i would always recommend in interest of time even if you show for one it will be well and good and you see that it will end in this manner and you can show the diaphragm as well yes so i'm not doing it because our class is also almost done so i'm going to just do a few are we clear are we clear with the respiratory system i'll draw a full diagram and then i'll send it to you on telegram also right yes all right everybody all right yes okay 
make a diagram on human digestive system i would request you to just rewind back a little and watch i've just drawn it right and see one more thing is what i would also be starting to do is i'll also have shorts which will be put on the channel which will tell you how to draw these diagrams that will also help you so for specifically for all that you want right what you can do is you can let me know in the comment section on what all diagrams you want to learn from me drop it in the comments and i will start shorts on the same that will help you understand all of this all right okay everybody so we can, i think we can switch back all right they're just going to switch me back okay everyone so with this of course if you see we come to the end of today's class i wanted to make today's class as small as possible i did not want to take a lot of time and can you use sticky notes also so i'll send a picture of how you can use sticky notes on telegram okay where how you can use them wisely yes all right my question is that we want to use sticky notes also so sticky notes you can apply so what i want to do is i'm just going to show you now so imagine this is my diagram of the just give me one minute this is my diagram of course you can't see right so this is my diagram of the human uh, digestive system so we'll just switch back once again so that you can see clearly so vishnu sir is going to help us with this yes so here as you can see this is my human digestive system and i want to make some points for example i want to know what all is there in the buccal cavity so what i'm going to do is i will write buccal cavity or whatever points right so we can write buccal cavity we can make down that there is teeth there is tongue saliva we can mention all of this i mean i'm just putting this and you can make a sticky note right here so this is something i will recommend if you are using it for your notes especially your rough book so you can use sticky notes you can even use them as foldables like this so that if you want to revise right interactive notes if you want to make these are one way of it so in case you can write buccal cavity here and you can use pointers you can write this on the inside important pointers and when you are able to revise you'll say okay buccal cavity how should i do it what are the main points look tell yourself when you revise and of course you can just go through it so you can also combine your knowledge on interactive notes for this as well okay all right everybody so with this of course we come to the end yes all right yes new generation can be used sticky notes in exams not advisable do not use sticky notes in your exams okay all right everyone i will be sending this particular presentation along with some notes on the telegram channel right and i told you you have one role to do tell me what all diagrams do you want to learn from me and i'm going to make shorts on the same right so we'll be starting a series of youtube shorts where you will be learning how to make these diagrams so i will tell you that let me know in the comment section below all right and you know that the 6 to 8 channel has got you covered no matter what and all i would tell you to do is to hit that like button tell your friends that this is the channel where we will be there to help you with all your queries and stay subscribed so i hope all of you found this class helpful i wanted to wind it up in 30 minutes but i took 10 minutes extra so that you all have a good understanding so ani tell me in the comment section we'll start a series on this as well it will definitely help you yes All right everyone thank you so much for being such amazing students you are truly wonderful and i'm truly blessed to have such amazing students in my life yes okay everybody hoping to see you all very very soon again bye bye and have a nice day